I knew it, Williams. I knew those two were gonna be a problem. I knew those two were gonna be a problem. Sawell and Jesco? Well, them too, but you and I already established that those two have been the priority problem. Pete Mitchell and his backseater Cody Zubek? Those two are definitely a problem. But I didn't know they would be because I thought I had enough leverage to have them die in prison for sure. Even more of a chance with them than Sowell and Jesco. Than Higgins and Albright. Two head guards making things a little too easy for our enemy. That makes them our enemies too. Bingo. Them. I knew they would be a problem. We framed Sawell and Jesco for the murder of a former president, but they get sent over there. I take care of foreigners from millions of nautical miles away from here by ensuring they get sent to prison as well. They somehow ended up at the 444th before even Sawell and Jesco do. Higgins and Albright, they have a knack for sniffing out people that we do not like, or people that we're gonna end up not liking, and they make things a little too convenient for them. So if Higgins and Albright were able to arrange for Mitchell and Zubek to be shipped out of the 444th even a week earlier than Trigger and Pick Me, I should have known Mitchell and Zubek would be a problem too, but I didn't. My dumbass didn't have that figured out somehow. It's a common thing. I can only retain so much knowledge about a few worlds here and there, but Earth planes that are millions of nautical miles away from this sector. I mean, how could I know about them? All I was told is, they flew too far south, thus risking them finding out too much about the outside of their own Antarctic barrier. As of what their world knows right now, they're dead. I don't want to think about what we're going to have to do if they're able to fast travel back. You know what? I almost don't want to risk it. Just in case, I can call up some associates so we can make arrangements to put that world under maintenance. Complete, plane-wide memory wipe. The whole damn population. Fuck. I thought this world would age them to death, though. They get free from behind bars, and all of a sudden, they're younger than 40 again. Before we know it, they'll be back in their mid-twenties. Damn it. How the fuck? What are they even eating? Just beef all day? Plane-wide memory wipe is a pretty big deal. Yeah, my associates, well shit. My competitors even, can be a bit greedy to say the least. I'm pretty fucking horrible myself. Let's be real. But because I can admit that about myself, I know how they're gonna react. Plane-wide memory wipe? It's a drastic decision. The population can only get so much done under that spell, but that lost revenue adds up. The showrunners from over there are gonna be fucking pissed. In the meantime, you think we should knock out the means for them to find a way out? Like you reported back to me, they're friends with Trigger and Pick Me. If they're friends with them, they're friends with people that are learning too much at an accelerated rate. So I'm thinking, yeah, the quicker we can get that arranged, the better. It'll take at least a week though, if not more. So what'll happen is we convince specific erosion officials that it's the best option at some point when things get desperate. It's just... It can only be knocked out for so long. I hate to have to do this, but I think eventually, I'm gonna have to start doing things on a more personal level. I'm not trying to say he's gone, obviously. It's a master of disguise, after all. I just haven't caught any suspicious behavior. Once I get my hands on him, I'm snapping his damn neck, though. No complaints here. I'm sure Bez would be more than happy to help turn a blind eye to what they'd consider to be a hasty decision like that, too. I hope you do get your hands on that bastard. I don't want any types like that near Lunar. Pick me, or any of us ever. So, you for sure haven't seen any suspicious behavior either? Nah, just from that journalist creep. He's harmless for the most part, though. Doesn't make him a good person, but yeah. He doesn't need to be here either, that dishonest little shit. Can't stand his damn voice. Yeah, diet and lifestyle can do that to a... Well, I struggle to call him a man anyway. Anyway... I don't know what's with me lately, but whenever I work on Strider 1 systems, I swear to God I mix that shit up with Voodoo 3. I work on one Tomcat, and it's like the other gets affected the same way. Am I seriously just losing my mind here? With the way this world has been going lately, I'm the last person that's gonna call you crazy here. Besides, I already told you about how Maverick and Hobbit are able to hear enemy comms as if they're on an open channel and I'm not. But then Trigger and Pick Me say they're able to do that too. Is that just a Tomcat thing? As someone that's worked on F-14s for a little under a year, I can tell you that isn't it. Can't wait for them to get back from Sortie so I can take a look again though. This is driving me nuts. I like how even you know they're gonna make it back alive. Trigger and Pick Me really have their shit together. Now, Maverick and Hobbit... Oh my god. 
I've witnessed their very first time around drones and it's nothing to them. It's like, ever since I've landed here, I've just been surrounded by a cesspool of pure talent. It's amazing. Well, I'm glad you think that about my flight records. Enough to be a big part of why you'd want me hired. That GOM emblem on my plane looks badass, by the way. The low visibility shade is coming along nicely. You're a survivor. And more than that, you'll do what's necessary. Part of you might be a little bit of a monster. I can still kind of see that, but we'll tough that journey out together. You and me. Or whenever I feel it's best for you to fly with Strider One. We're all fighting the same war. Beneath the Lighthouse War. You know the real war I'm talking about. Yeah. Ever since I first started doing some digging on Trigger and Pick Me's situation, I knew I had to do something. Say something, at the very least. But the more I'm able to do about all this, the more thankful I am. I just wish more people were as inspired by those two as I know they should be. At least they have their unit that knows the truth. The truth that all they want is to do good for their people. If this particular truth, the truth about them, were more public, the world would be better off. I know that for a fact. All right, Strider team. You know what time it is. That's a hell of a time to be alive. Well, it's time for some treasure hunting, Trigger. Oh boy, I'm excited. Hey, stop screwing around. Don't be such a hothead, Hoosian. We all know what'll happen if we screw up. Please don't. This is Patrol Aircraft Vector 1. We're deploying the Soma Buoy Barrier. We're all prepared to find the farm, and that's why we're still coming. According to calculations, just one thing you are located. Those aren't the sort of calculations we like, are they, Trigger? Damn right. Same for the rest of us, too. I'm not letting up one there. They're here as predicted. Detecting hostiles. They're definitely aircraft from the Alicorn. Trigger, you take the lead. The patrol aircraft must be protected. All aircraft, follow Trigger. We'll come. Understood. Understood. Roger. Understood. I got your six, Strider One. Yeah, which makes me feel sorry for that Alicorn. We make a killer team, I tell you. Voodoo Three, Fox Three. All wings, your weapon's free. Three strikes of rebels in the killing. Thanks, I try. We supposed to feel guilty about that? Right. Last I checked, this is a fucking war. Strider Two, engaging. Strider Three, engaging. Cyclops Two, engaging. Voodoo Three, engaging. Hot damn, that was nice. Four. David, here's a question: How many aircraft can the Alicorn carry? 20 to 30, depending on the type of aircraft, but it's unconfirmed intel. Could be more. With three strikes, you can reduce them to a single digit. Nah, we can reduce them even more. And if we add Voodoo 3 to the equation? Know the answer soon enough. Using pilots and sacrificial aircraft, I heard about the abuse. We can do these waters, but we don't like them. Detecting additional UAVs. Intercept them. More hiding. Trigger, can you get him? I appreciate that. Cypher got me used to these bastards. In my kind of weather, too. Winter guy, huh? Got you locked on him. First call, he's crushed the enemy. He's one. Fox 2. The aircraft from the submarine are well trained. Enemy on me. Take it away! He's one. Fox 3. Debris from the downed aircraft is landing in the water. There's water? Let me know what the bodies is. I the debris stops raining. Okay, if stuff like that makes him hungry, he needs to go. I'm grateful you're around. Hey, it's that grateful you're around guy. Wait, what? Okay, lock acquired. Fire. Three o'clock low, Mav. Keep off out far from the control aircraft. Was that three strikes? Wait, buddy. That captain was up to no good. Yeah, nice understatement. Do you have a moment? What's up? Find that stuff. We've only got one chance. Thanks. You're an angel. Uh, I'm not 
so sure about that. Locked on. <laughs> Hostile confirmed down. He's on R6. Let me guess, his plane has extra armor too. Oh, I hate those. Is that a new thing to you guys? I mean, we're still getting used to that too. I was really hoping you were wrong. Well, sorry, I guess. We have a lock. Splash, I think. See, I double tap those fuckers just in case. Yeah, yeah, that does work most of the time. Okay, that was definitely a splash, you know? It must be nice to have a plane like that. Starting to wonder if we could have Bez look into that sort of thing. Maybe Lunar could dig up something. We still have Blood Bolt. Considering her experience, she might know a thing or two, actually. Should be ahead of us in that knowledge. You talking about Nadia? She's an asset as hangar crew and in the air. Jack of all trades, that lady? Heads up, I see a drone. Give me a lock. Tracking. I've got time. Firing. He's way the hell out there. Hell of a splash, Mav. Thank God, I can't see a damn thing in these clouds I'm icing up. Friendly's dead ahead on picture, Mav. We can't break the block. They got enemies right on top of them. Roger that. I'm seeing bandits. We're getting in range. All right, give me a lock, Hobbit. Shack on that bandit trick. He's still up, attempting a climb. Eight o'clock high. That's a mistake. Missed. He's in their picture. Talk to me, Hobbit. On our niner low. Okay, box two. All right, let's see if we can outrate him. Five o'clock high. Three o'clock. All right, the nose is getting there. Come on, come on. Locked on! Uh, Fox 2 solution. Splash, man! Yes! Another one in range. Right, where we want him. We've been attacked by Hawk, though. We've only got their end to it. Oh, shifty little bastard, aren't you? Different drone models than the ones we've encountered before, but they move just about the same. We actually saw these in the lab, hello. Alright. They evaded it. Look at Strider team jumping that little sucker. Ha ha! Let's break break! Hey, buddy! Just stole a kill from Cyclops, too. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'll be here all evening. That's it, Mav. Show these Roosies how we get things done, American style. You know what? I think I'm gonna start using that word, too. Welcome to the club. There's a club? If I didn't know any better, I'd think you two were OC in any way. Oh, that's another weird thing. You guys act exactly like Americans. I think after this whole thing blows over, you gotta tell us what America is like. Fair trade. You tell us how things are like back home in Osea, too. Then we make damn sure we get through this. <laughs> You know the odds are ridiculously in our favor. Let's stop relying on calculations. Shit! All syllables dropped. Barrier completed. Analysis complete. Alicorn navigable zone. Strider 1 to Longcaster. Requesting location intel. Roger that. Displaying the search area on your radar map. The Alicorn somewhere inside that ring. Activating the MAD. Alright, we're headed to you, Trick. Do you see the waveform indicator above your HUD? Roger display. Please advise. Fly over the search area and look for a location that induces a change in the waveform. Solid copy. We're treasure hunting for real, huh? All aircraft except Trigger. You're on contingent combat air patrol. Two to three, we'll go. Go, Trigger. Leave these chumps to us. Don't let Mav steal all your kills, Strider. The lower you fly, the wider the detection radius of the MAD. Be sure to fly low. All the deperming measures in the world. The MAD won't function at high speeds. Fly slower than 800 kilometers an hour. The submarine may be huge, but it's still gonna be like looking for a needle in a haystack. Yeah, more like a submarine in the ocean. Okay, Trigger, your MAD's getting something. The waveform on your HUD should have peaked. Turn and fly in the direction where the waveform peaks. Thanks for the help. Hey, hey that was mine. Splash that sucker, Mav. I don't see any more on picture. Trigger, your MAD is showing a stronger reaction. The Alicorn must be near. You've set the hook. Now you just have to reel it in. How did that huge thing hide from us all this time? Picking up a magnetic signature. Signature lost. I'm seeing strong noise in the MAD signal. Shit. They predicted that we blew the MAD. Seems like this is our contingency. Does anyone see most of the noise in the ocean surface? It's likely similar to a buoy. I don't have a window, so I don't know about buoys, but I'm detecting strong radio sources. Correct. That's it. Sending the location of the jamming devices. Destroy them. Roger, Longcast. Trigger, let's destroy the jamming buoys. Wow, good idea. Voodoo 3 is no joy on bandits. We're pitching in. They think those cheap toys will help them escape our net? Do we have a high-tech net? What the? A huge explosion just went off underwater. Jamming buoy explosion. Aircraft. What's happening underwater? That's underwater. Right. Possible. We're only hearing explosion echoes. Back home, we've seen underwater mines. Guess these are kind of a mix between those and buoys. Well, buoys usually float right at the surface. These are just right under. So these are just underwater mines. We're mine swimming right now. They're naval mines with jamming properties. 
Yeah, naval jammer mines. Hey, yeah. Sometimes we just don't keep things simple for some reason. Mav, are you seeing a pulse thing in your visor display, like, at the top? Wait, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen it before. What is that? Dude, no way! You could have been sniffing out the Alicorn, too? Last I remember, that was just assigned to us in particular. Maybe the hangar crew got their Tomcat mixed up with ours and just implemented it into both of our systems. Guess that gives us more options, then. So we can both sniff out that sub, or I just cover you. We'll see how hairy things get when we clear the picture. This location is moved. Trigger, I'm sending you the search area. Don't let it get away. All right, Trigger, I'm on your way. The Alicorn has almost reached the trench. Time's running out. Hurry. It's okay. Trigger's already on the hunt. Confirming more hostile UAVs. They just launched from the Alicorn. Two to three, did you? can launch the bunch of water? If you can splash even one, it'll be that much easier for Trigger. Well, things are about to get very, very easy. Strider, Cyclops, we don't have much time left. Don't you worry. Trigger will find it. Trigger's given me so much cover, and I still... Shit, I'm just pathetic. <coughs> Double time at Trigger. Count on it. Mav, you're such a cocky son of a bitch. I love that shit. <laughs> Think we can find it? This is pretty tough. Let's do this. Lanza, draw the attention of the hostile at 9 o'clock. Here, Jody, Jody. No way you won't pick up a huge steel whale. Look harder. It's a race against time now. Um, be on time. Splash! And another one down! Shit, this is bad. We still have a chance. Good kill, Mav! Fucking show off. <laughs> You've reeled it in. Positive hit on the MAD. That's it! Strider 1 found the submarine Alicorn. Yeah. Nice! Yeah. All that flying around paid off! We ain't done yet. Give it the finishing blow. My turn, it's damn it. Fire. Commence preparations to fire the VL Asrock! VL Asrock ready for launch. Line of fire is clear. Ready. Fire all missiles! Fire! Missile away. All anti-submarine missiles launched. Report the result. Did we get him? I see something moving. Either the submarine or the ocean is in a very good mood. Alicorn Spock, it's surfacing. Alright, well, visual on the giant thumb drive. What is a thumb drive? We'll get back to you on that. Surfacing? We haven't sunk it? It's attacking our fleet. Son of a... We didn't hit him. What? You're wrong, Count. Back him into the core. It wouldn't have popped up like that if we didn't hit it. They're vulnerable now that they've surfaced. Follow up on trigger. Going in. Roger. 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 Prepare to abandon ship. We can't train it. Evacuate. Fly destroyers and eagle off. The Aegis vessel canary. Switch it to guns. The order is to abandon ship. The chance that we fought at the bottom of the sea. Strider 1 to Longcaster, what am I seeing on picture? You're being locked onto by the railguns. Increase your speed and run, Trigger. Oh my god, it's moving. One of those railguns hits us, we'll be torn into a million pieces. They'll be looking for aircraft as well. Don't flutter about. Throttle up! Get us out of the damn way, Mav! Holy Fire. shit. Fire! The Alicorn fired its railguns. Fuck me. It's using its main guns for anti-air combat. Oh, I thought it was aiming for a mosquito. Well, that would be nice. Alicorn is diving. That little bitch. Gower thinks should be damaged. We'll have to service again soon. We need to shoot down the drone that has been launched. To make Mama submarine mad? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, no need to retreat. We'll have to kill them all if we are to live. If you wish to live, then you must let go of your life. Well, that does not make sense. I'm giving you a lock on this bastard. Voodoo 3, Fox 2. All aircraft, position yourself to hit the Alicorn as it surfaces. Right on. Roger that. We picked up the Alicorn underwater. This is for the three, I'll see you moving out of the water. Locked on, you're mine. This one's mine. She's coming up. The Alicorn has surfaced. Commence assault. Strider 1, Roger. Don't flatter yourself. Target hit. The enemy submarine's outer hull is severely damaged. It won't be able to dive like that. Yeah. Damn, Mav, what did you do? Uh, I don't know. I think I broke it. Good. We'll break it even more. No mercy! Yeah, that sounds like a good time. Hey, what the hell? Did someone just fall asleep? 
we surrender. We don't care. What? What's going on? Nothing much, yeah. I know this voice. This is the submarine aircraft cruise of Alicorn. We surrender. Stop shooting. Yeah, whatever, man. All aircraft, cease fire. Lame. That's a con man talking. I should know. Let's just sink it. Negative. We cannot attack those that have surrendered. It's a breach of international law. I repeat, we surrender. What do we do? Weapon use is prohibited. I hold international law so dearly. We'll no longer be soldiers the moment we don't. Then I'll happily quit my career. Do not attack. Keeping a close eye on this asshole. Yeah, you never know if it'll get up and start walking or something. God, no. We will surrender. We're currently making preparations to be disarmed. Prepare to get fucked up if you're full of shit, bro. I'm David North, an analyst at the Ocean Intelligence Agency. Oh. Hey, man. How's it going? Captain, we've already jammed a terminal guidance system over Old Red. Your shot will miss the mark. Can you tell you a story? Back when I was a government officer. Is this gonna be a long story? I had to aim at an enemy ship 30 kilometers away in the middle of a storm. The seas were rough that day, and still I landed one of the two shots. Here's a question. Was your plan elegant? The answer is yes. <sighs> At least until three strikes ruined it. What do you know of beauty? Uh -huh. They have no intention to surrender. Stop them, Trigger. Hit the barrel, Trigger. Hurry! Wait, Trigger. Stop attacking immediately. Shit, get in there, Trigger. Target the Ocean Capital is To take the lives of one million people 5,000 kilometers away with my family on Never fall for this bullshit again. It's okay. The shell will miss. What happened? <laughs> That's a blatant violation of orders, you dumbass. You're fucked. Move the next shell. I'm going in for the kill. All aircraft, destroy the Alicorn. We'll go. All right. We'll go. We'll go. Understood. Fuck that thing up. Aim for the base of the rail cannon. Photo 3, Roger. MCS error. Can't raise the elevation of the barrel. Three strikes in the sky is a sign of an ill omen. Captain.
those who show the way to everyone else. Those who stand at the forefront to cast the light. Those who follow them can't help but feel that they're in the right hands, that they'll make it. This is an era where there isn't a singular answer, like a quiz question. The world awaits a hero to keep the torch aloft, vanishing the darkness. Quite the poet. That's a story I'm gonna have to tell my kid. All aircraft and David, the operation is complete. Return to base and get some rest. Oh man, finally time for some munchies. Get to him and the burger over there? Oh, and the knife and fork too, please. Once I get back to base, I'm heading to the mess hall. I can go for some prime rib right about now, Mav. Thanks, I really need my mouth to water right now. For people from a completely different world, you two sure know how to speak my language fluently. We should start making this a tradition. Every time we take down something big, we celebrate with a medium rare dinner. So, how many big things are out there? Man, I swear, if there's a dragon, then we eat the fucking dragon. Well, hell. Could you imagine how juicy that would be? A giant one? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, then Jaeger's gonna tell a story about that to his son, too. He'll be like, son, let me tell you about Gourmet Dragon Tail and how delicious it is. <laughs> gourmet Dragon Tail. <laughs> Heard you kicked ass out there. Again. You know, back home I had this wingman. He's very... by the book. But he's a damn good wingman. Huh. From what I've seen, you're very not by the book. Complete opposite. You... are also a good wingman. And the same thing with Trigger. So it's kinda like a pattern. As long as I'm around the right people, I know I'm going to make something out of myself. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. That's what made me the man I am today. My own wingman. Well, there was a time he lost his mind, but he did redeem himself. He took it upon himself to atone for the horrible things he did for an ideology he now knows to be a complete lie. And now look at him, writing books about what he learned from that experience. And he's a cancer survivor. God, I didn't think he would make it. But he's rich now. And he helped me to learn how to gain that wealth for myself. How to earn it. The right way. So, what you explained to me just then, I definitely resonate with that. My, my god, that's... that's amazing. You know what? As a matter of fact, I think I want to pass that kind of knowledge on to you. You're... well, you're kind of in a unique situation right now. But maybe when you get back home and you're back to serving your country, along the way, you'll know how to generate that wealth. Maybe things in your world are a little different, and the military actually does pay well. I think, even as a captain, if you're lucky, you live about as good as a doctor. Tell you what, I'm here to keep a close eye on Trigger, and this whole family we got going here, because Ustio granted me that sort of freedom given the service I've provided them a while back. You'll always have me to kick around, and you get to fly with me, because of how things are arranged for you these days. When we're groundside, you learn a thing or two. When you get back home, I'd say when you pick up Captain, you can generate enough wealth on the side to be able to buy your own hangar. Maybe even your own plane if you're willing to just live in the hangar. Which, you kind of strike me as that type and I can't blame you. Okay, I don't know how you know that's something I've been dreaming of doing, but yeah, that's pretty accurate. Then it's settled. I have a feeling you and me are gonna get along just fine, buddy. Maverick? Do they not have thumb drives where you live? Well, a lot of this technology, well, a lot of the aircraft I've been seeing, we don't have those back home. The plane you're about to fly, I've never seen that before. Okay, so wait, what year is it back home? It's 1988. Oh my god, that's insane. Hey, how do you think I feel about being in 2019? Bloodbolt. Yes, Cypher? We gotta tell everyone in the group about this. God, Maverick. The more I find out about you and Hobbit, the weirder this gets.